delighted. Well, I'm delighted. Well, it's been a long desire. Well, shake your hand with you in person. Well, well, here we are. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you all very much. Point is Titus. Okay, I'm showing off. <laughs> but welcome to the White House. You know, it's always a pleasure for me to greet people here. We should all be proud that this is one of the few executive residences in the world that's open to the people. So when I say to you, mi casa es su casa, it's literally true. <laughs> just as true, and something none of us should ever forget is that this country belongs to all of us. We recognize that the forebears of many Americans of Hispanic descent, well, it was the United States that came to them, Southwest. We Californians fully appreciate the highly developed Hispanic culture that existed in our state prior to its becoming part of the United States. As in the other state historic Pueblo of Los Angeles, the wonderful restored missions not as just part of the state's heritage, but part of your heritage, then you our fellow citizens that our Hispanic heritage is something of which all Americans can be proud. We're also celebrating the contemporary contributions of Americans of Hispanic descent. Having been in the profession I was in for most of my adult life, I knew many Americans of Hispanic descent in the performing arts. Anthony Quinn is showing off some of that talent right now at the Kennedy Center here in Washington. There are, of course, many more, the beautiful Dolores Del Rio, Desi, but more importantly, we honor all those many millions of our citizens who so exemplify the values of family, work, respect for God, and love of country. And when it comes to these basic building blocks of character, no group of citizens 
should be prouder than Americans of Hispanic descent. Over the years, the contributions made by these people just by being good Americans have had an enormous impact on our way of life. With hard work, they've built large corporations and accomplished great things. And when we look for exemplary individuals who have overcome great odds and endured much personal hardship, we know we'll find to make ends meet, even though manage to raise their children with dignity and pride, see that they receive a good education and teach them the values that are so important to Hispanic Americans. The same, he went back to school, he earned his master's degree in business administration, he served his state in a high government post and is now a successful businessman. He's an inspiration to all who know him and what dignity of Hispanic women. He's Good said, to see you again. He set such a high water mark last year. This is going to have a tough time. We had a good, <laughs> we had a good year. Yes. <laughs> Frank Marchand, combined federal campaign. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. 
I think we all go over here. And I sit down. $686,000, which is a 10% increase over last year. And we think it's realistic. It's something that we can attain. But of course, we're all going to have to work to make sure it will uh, happen. Of course, your leadership will, will help make it happen, Mr. President. You should have told me about that 10% first, and then I would have to make it 10%. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> 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 I think the first point you ought to hammer home constantly is this is not a budget plan in any way, shape, or form. It's a campaign brochure, uh, which purports to heroically whack $177 billion per year out of the deficit without causing discomfort. 